we are going to freeze embryos. We've had a consultation with the doctor going in for the testing and stuff. Um, but we just have to find time to do it, Mm -hmm. which is very difficult because you have to go in, like give yourself shots, go in like every day. Like, uh, I feel like this show has become over the seasons, just as much about the glam, the fashion, the beauty as it is the real estate. Yeah. What is kind of like your process for figuring out, okay, I'm going to wear this, this episode. I really want to get this on TV. Like you're shopping, (laughs) lay it out. (laughs) Honestly, I don't think I put in as much effort as some of the other girls. I like whenever I shop and I see something, like I just have like a ton of stuff um, normally leading up to the season that was begin filming again. Um, mm-hmm. I will just have like a stockpile of stuff. And so I think it kind of just depends on what my mood is that day. Um, I You're just, so low maintenance. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, I'm not really, I'm not really over the top about it. Um, but I am trying to step up the style just a little bit more. Mm-hmm. I've noticed whenever I get a lot of clients, or if there's something going on, I think around my wedding, mm-hmm. I was just like. I mean, uh, I'm here. I'm doing the job. <laughs> That's all I can handle right now. So, um, so yeah. But I think now I'm I'm trying to step it up a little bit. It's fun to get dressed up. It's fun to try new styles and and kind of. Um, branch out like I've done stuff with my hair that's different mm-hmm. a couple times like where I kind of play with new looks and and that's so much fun for me I feel like I would use the entire show as just an excuse to fuel my shopping addiction yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know it's like we have to right? exactly <laughs> for TV it's for the it's for the fans uh, exactly um do you think from season one to now we're going on season five your style has changed at all or evolved um, I don't know, maybe, um, I, I guess I would have to leave that up to the viewers. Um, I, you know, I kind of just, I switch it up all the time. I go from, from with work, um, professional and kind of dressy. And then I'll do like more like, like body suits and, and like pencil skirts. And then, but then at night, if I go out a lot of times, I, it's more of an edgy, um, kind of, um, like lace and leather, like rocker kind of vibe, um, like an upscale rocker. <laughs> so I, I just kind of switched up whatever my mood is. If you had to switch closets with someone on your cast, who yeah. would it be? Krisha. Why? Um, she and I have very similar styles. Yeah. Um, we are the same, we, we are exactly the same size too. Well, she's pretty skinny now though. So I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah, she is. I was like, so, but, um, we're typically, we're the same height, same shoe size, same dress size. Oh, and, that's you know, like prime for shopping in each other's closet. Oh yeah. And then we, I think we have the same style every time. Um, every time I see her or, or I think of all the girls, I, most of the girls have very, um, great styles, um, that they wear, but Chriselle always, it's more. It's just in tune with like what I'm like, oh, that's amazing. I want that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so this question is like totally my personal curiosity, but I have to ask it. You okay. guys are in heels incessantly and they're not like little block heels. Like you guys are in sky high stilettos. Is yeah. that for the show or do you actually walk around all day in these crazy heels? Yeah. Um, I, I mean, whenever I'm out with clients, I have heels on. And let, I mean, no. I, I do plan to to wear my comfy heels if it's like a big house. Like when Jason and I went and did, uh, or Jason Brett and I went and did the tour of the um, of the three hundred million listing. Mm-hmm. It was like I know it's a hundred thousand square feet, so that is a long time to be going up and down this massive house in heels. So I made sure I did wear heels, but um, <laughs> but I, they were my comfy ones. Love it, love it. No so, Louboutins on that day. No. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have any like weird rules when you're filming in terms of like what you can wear, what you can't wear? Um, or like clashing yeah, well, with each other? Yeah, Adam, Adam really doesn't really like us wearing flats. If they're flats, then they better be very trendy like boots or something. So if, if we were just trying to throw on a, a really comfy pair of shoes, he's probably like, mm-hmm. mm, please change those. <laughs> um, but, uh, but for the most part, we just uh, we just wear whatever we want. Um, I think if two of us, if we're doing a scene together and two of us are in like the 
exact same color. So like, do either of you guys have a change of clothes? Cause this looks really weird. Uh, so these that's things. about the only thing it's like, I mean, a lot of times we'll try to plan out what each other's wearing. Like if it's mm -hmm. like, if we're going out for, um, for drinks or like, what are you wearing? Um, just to make sure we're not like in exactly the same thing. Krishan and I almost wore the exact same dress one day, actually. Seriously? That's so yeah. funny. I, I was planning to wear it to, um, for drinks the following night and, and I met her at one of her listings and I was like, oh, you, that's the dress I'm wearing tomorrow night. I <laughs> so love it. You guys are in her. sync with your style. Yeah, yeah. So many times we will end up having one of the same things. Love it. So you have a handful of tattoos and I know yeah. you've gotten a matching one with Amanda, which I love. Yeah. Any new ink on the horizon for you? Oh, um, I don't know. I, I think I had my day with that. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I'll never say never. There's a, there's a couple of my friends. Amanda had a couple of new ones and it looks so pretty. Mm -hmm. um, so if I, if something, if there was a, like a saying or some word or something like that that was meaningful to me, I would probably do it. But I would also, I would still get it in one of like the low key spots. Right. I, well, I don't know. Actually, I really kind of want one right here on my, on my collarbone right there. This, Ooh, like, I like, this, that. like very scribbly words or something anything in mind I or you're just like no i have no idea i don't know if, if i thought of something okay it, i'll keep an yeah. eye on. <laughs> i'm not just gonna get one just to get one so right. <laughs> so romaine's fashion reels on instagram give me life i think they're amazing <laughs> out of the two of you like would you say he's more into fashion you're more into fashion Oh, I'd, um, he's very into fashion. He he loves it. Um, I, I think we're both probably equally. Will equally he like give it? his two cents? Does he plan out his outfits for the oh, show? Yeah. yeah, he plans out his own outfits. Um, we found that that we end up matching a lot of times without meaning to. Um, I'll, I'll be in the room getting ready if he comes home and we have an event or something, he'll put something on and we're like in the same colors. It can be like mauve or something and, and we're like, what? Okay, you're trying to match me, but we haven't even seen each other yet. So, but, yeah. You're just in we, sync. Yeah. So season five is around the corner. Yeah. What can you tease about this new season? What should we expect? <laughs> um, <laughs> it's going to be good. It's going to be, um, It's. I think every season kind of steps it up a little bit and... I haven't seen it yet, so I actually don't know what made the cut and what didn't because we film so much um, and it gets cut down. But um, there's a new girl, Chelsea, um, who is great. She's um, she's British, lots of energy. Um, she's very very cool, and um, I think you'll kind of see the development with Chriselle and Jason on um, when they first got together. Um, I don't know if the breakup is on there or not. Um, but, um, and then what else? Heather's getting married. Lots of uh, things happening. What about you? Yeah, your, lots of drama. I'm going to be. Can yeah, you, tons of drama as usual. Okay. <laughs> lots of lots of great, great real estate. Um, the houses we keep getting bigger and big and better houses. Um, lots of celebrity clients. Yeah, it's going to be fun. So obviously it must be a little weird to kind of watch this new season is going to play out and you guys have already lived it. So much has changed since then. I know we touched on Chriselle. Is she like enjoying the single life now? Yeah, she seems happy. She, she's happy. I mean, the, you know, it's never easy. It takes a while to get over um, a breakup. But um, I think I think Jason and Chriselle are both, you know, they're they're happy and they're moving on. They know they know that it was for the right reason that they split. So, yeah. Do you think Jason will ever change his mind on having kids or? Um, I don't. I don't think he would in a time frame that she needed him to. But I, I think eventually he's he's such a great guy and he's such a great like um, dad to our puppies. And I, you can just see how much love when he when he actually wraps his head around something. He never wanted dogs either, um, and and he was annoyed that I had a dog. And now like our dogs are his life. And so um, I think he would be an amazing father. So I, I hope he comes around to it because his kid would be very lucky. 
that dog birthday party was any indication. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, my assistant just picked up the dogs and took them over to him because he missed them. No. So, yeah. <laughs> I think I want a birthday party. Like, she's throwing for them. Oh, I know, right? Well, okay. you know, Nico's getting older, and, and we don't know how much time we have left. And, and it's just fun. If we can do it, it's fun. It's a chance for all of our friends to come together and get their dogs mm -hmm. together. And our dogs just loved it with all the little puppy treats everywhere. So cute. So, yeah. So, have you tried, have you like played matchmaker at all with either Chriselle or Jason or are you more hands off? No, no, I'm <laughs> hands off on that one. I'm, I, I'm just there for just to kind of have talk for them to talk to me, run things by me, try to help in any way I can. But I'm, a, I think I would be a terrible matchmaker. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Yeah, I know. Well, I guess I did one time. It, it actually plays on, I think it plays on the show. Um, it was actually one of my ex-boyfriends. So, <laughs> and I started thinking about it. And they were saying stuff about European guys. And I was like, I don't really know anybody. Yes, I do. Oh my gosh. I was like, yes, I do. He's so cute. He's a doctor. Um, I love it. He and I are still friends. And so I was like, okay, Emma, Chriselle, I don't know which, which one is going to be a better fit, but yeah, maybe you know, maybe you want to maybe it'll come full circle for you maybe i don't know yeah uh, well i'm maybe rooting for this know, i think you least. should i think you should throw your hat in the ring and in, in match <laughs> your world i'll keep my eye open and, and I'll, I'll throw people out there for them they you both know. deserve to be happy so obviously so much happened with christine on season four we don't know what's gonna come in season five but how has your relationship with her developed at all in the time that's passed, has it at all? No. We don't really talk. No. Um, you know, again, I wish her, uh, I wish her the best in life. I want her to be happy and do her thing. But um, I think, I think it'll be very clear in season five why I've just taken a step back. Um, there's been a lot of changes, um, actually, even in the office, where I when we're in the office i have to be hands-on and i and i talk to her but um but outside personally um i i keep my distance are you hinting that you took on a management role in the oppenheim group i'm i'm not hinting anything you have to watch season five i i don't know what well, i don't know what's happening but i do i do jason has asked me to talk to Christine um, in the office, though. So. Got it. Okay. Can't wait for season five. <laughs> <laughs> so, where, in terms of like your personal life, have you and Romaine had any more conversations about having kids? What's your status with that? Yeah, we are. Um, we are getting ready to freeze our embryos. I feel like I've said this for about the past two years, and and I just keep procrastinating. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm still up in the air if I want to have another baby or not, but I I know that I don't want him to lose out on that opportunity. So um, we are gonna freeze the embryos. We've had a consultation with the doctor going in for the testing and stuff. Um, but we just have to have, find time to do it, mm -hmm. which is very difficult because you have to go in, like give yourself shots, go in like every day. I'm like, uh, I, and that's, I think, part of the procrastination. If I can't even go in, I'm too busy to even go in for, for the testing portion of it, how am I going to take care of a kid right now? We have to slow down um, before, and I, I think it maybe within a couple of years we probably will. Um, I, I really don't want him to lose out on that, and maybe within a couple of years I'll be ready to not take on so much. And I know Heather is going through a very similar experience. Have you guys talked about it? I know she's been very open about her. her experience. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we have, she, she's given me advice on, on whether or not I should do it on the show. Um, like when we start filming season six or if I should mm -hmm. go ahead and do it now, because I'm kind of concerned about being, being super hormonal, dealing with all the stuff yeah. in the office and, and it makes you blow and stuff like a lot too. And I'm like, eh, do, am I really gonna, do I wanna deal with that on the show? Um, but, you know, I think it would be good for, for viewers too, to watch along. I, if, if, if production wants to, wants to follow along with it, otherwise I'll probably do it on um, social media and allow um, fans to be kind of following along that journey because I think a lot of people go through that now. Um, there are so many people that, you know, we wait until later 
it close to our late 30s and 40s before um, before we want anything because we're just very career focused now. Most women are, so um, I think it's very uh, relatable and something that people would um, like to follow along with. So I'll, I'll make sure people get to watch along in one way or the other when the time's right. Yeah. Um, so pivoting to another one of your coworkers, Emma, what is obviously so much drama played out on screen, off screen? What is Emma's and Emma and Peter's relationship like these days? Are they still friends? They're friends. Does that affect anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah they're friends. I, I know there's been a lot of speculation, um, like book at, like seeing them out and stuff, but they're kind of like Jason and I. Um, things didn't work out. Um, they're not together, but um, but they are they are friends. And then watching all of this unfold and all of the, you know, comments from viewers and fans, what is that experience like for you having already lived it? Like, is it weird? Does it keep things fresh? Do you get like re, re emotional watching that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, doll. No. Um, I think that it depends on what it's about. Like sometimes I can watch and, and I get irritated or I get like, or I just laugh or sometimes I'm, I would say it, it's hard for us to ever get past an argument. A lot of times I think being on a show and doing press and, and seeing people's responses, it kind of keeps igniting that flame. It like never fully dies out when, when something happens, when there's like some dramatic thing or an argument because you have so many people like, like just like bringing it back to the surface. Mm -hmm. So it does make it more difficult um, to just actually move on and not care. So I think we've all kind of had to learn how to do that, where we just kind of, you know, just more, take a step back more and just almost have to put up a wall in a way. Mm -hmm. I mean, just to not get constantly um, amped up about, about things. Um, especially if it's something that was hurtful. Um, that, that happened, that people are commenting on. It's, it, it, you have to get some thick skin, I think. Yeah. yeah, from the first season to now, how do you think that you've changed as a person in your personal life off camera, just watching yourself? I've, um, I think I've become more of a hermit, like a, <laughs> a, a <laughs> I, I actually really enjoy um, like just, hanging out with Remain at home. Um, I used to want to go out all the time. And if I love going out, I love doing stuff, but I also equally enjoy just a quiet night at home. So- You're speaking um, my language, so <laughs> I can relate. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like, cause you know, we just have to be kind of careful about anything we say or do um, in public, people can be filming. And so it's like, if you just want to talk like you would normally talk, go out with your husband or boyfriend and just talk to them about what's going on with your friends or something. It's like, you mm -hmm. can't do that. Right. Um, so, so yeah, I think, I think it's just more relaxing for me. I didn't realize I was, I was kind of a homebody <laughs> until <laughs> lately. I am. Is there anything else? I feel like I ran through my questions or anything else you want to touch on about personal life, cast members? Selling sunset, beauty, fashion, open floor. I think I think everyone's just going to be really excited to watch it. Um, I think I think a lot of the questions that that they, it was like confusing on season four were like like who's telling the truth? What's going on? Like there was like a lot of like just like what's happening right now. Um, and I think season five is going to clarify a lot of that, and it's going to just be shocking in many ways. I, for one, will be glued to the TV <laughs> the second it drops. Um, but thank yeah. you so, so much. It was so great to talk to you. Amazing. Thank you so much.